Hey guys, this is Daniel, and today we'll be doing the brake rotors and brake pads on the 2004 S500 Mercedes. And just maybe we'll be doing the brake fluid as well, so let's get the car jacked up on all fours, get the wheels off, and let's look at what we got to work with. Let's do it. All right, let's see what we got to work with. So these are what looks like four piston uh, uh, brakes, which are standard on the S500. This is the, the, the base model. Now, if you get the S55, you probably have the Brembo, which I believe have six pistons. I might be wrong, but uh, there's enough meat left on these rotors. So there shouldn't be a problem uh, with the pads or the rotors. However, when I step on the brake, I get this little wobble. And in order to fix this, you just bring it to the, uh, uh, a brake service specialist or, or any store really and they take the rotors off to turn them sometimes they turn them directly on the car and you're off and you're good the problem is I called about 25 maybe 30 places here locally nobody wants to drill cross uh, to, to turn cross drilled rotors so I had to get new ones and while I'm at it I might as well just get new pads so let's get started on this disassembly uh, so we're gonna remove the uh, uh, caliper uh, get these pads out and um, get a new rotor installed. So let's get to it. Now, if you're just replacing pads, all you have to do, we just push back the, the pistons uh, by just pushing against the rotor. And usually it, it shouldn't be a problem. The rotor is hard enough where it can handle this abuse. Um, but at this point, you just put it in your pads, put it back together, you're done. This is how quick it goes. I wish all the cars were like that. But now we're gonna take the caliper itself off so we can uh, pull the rotor off. So let's get to it. This one, not this, this one. Now let's see what Santa Claus brought us. We have some premium 
pads from Advanced Auto Parts or Napa. Uh, they're the gold ones. I think they're ceramic. Uh, we'll get to this later. Um, and we do have rotors. So let's open this up. Okay, here we go. So these are not cross drilled. So uh, I'm gonna re-verify to make sure that's the correct part number, but I actually like that they're not cross drilled because if something ever should happen, like what the situation I have right now, I can actually get these resurfaced, which means I'm not paying two, three hundred dollars for brake service. I pay maybe thirty-five dollars a side for resurfacing on the car, which is even better. So let's get these prepped and pop it up back on the car. I'm not sure if anybody caught this, but during the installation I made a critical mistake. So I pushed this pads way far down so when I installed the pin that goes through it, it went on top and I didn't even see it. So luckily, right after I torqued it down, I caught it, I took it back apart, pulled the, cal uh, the, the brake pad up a little bit and got it through here. So in this notch, just in case you're wondering, is where the sensor goes back in. Uh, there's a little pin. I lost the pin. I will find it. I will reinstall it. If not, I'll buy it. But the little plastic, I mean, uh, metal clip is going to have to be in there. So I'm going to show you to you on the other side. I'm just going to do it real quick. And then I'm going to knock out the rears real quick because it's just the pads. And then we'll go on to the bleeding.
right here we go so we installed the front pads we installed the front rotors i checked on the rear and the rear is just perfect like new we're not going to change those it's going to have to wait for another video but let's go ahead and uh, test the brake fluid now it is two years old but it was very high quality brake fluid we put some pentosin in it uh i have a little tester uh link is in the description let's go and check it out all right it's on and let's get this tested and we're at one percent contamination which is great it's still like new so we're gonna leave this in a little bit longer Now comes the fun part so we're gonna bed in or burnish it's not really burnishing it's a bad expression but we're gonna break in the pads so in order to break in the pads we gotta go out and we gotta take uh, uh, progressively harder stops uh, with the brakes we don't want to make an emergency stop or anything we want to come to a nice smooth stop just apply a little bit uh, pressure make it a little bit harder as you go and uh, uh, you know let it cool down uh, on the next run so because we have ceramic pads, they re the ceramic pads actually transfer material to the rotor. Uh, and most cars nowadays you use ceramic pads, not to be confused with ceramic uh, or carbon ceramic uh, rotors on the really high-end cars, which cost thousands and thousands of dollars. We have just a regular steel disc rotor with ceramic pads, and they, in my opinion, work very well. Now, if you have uh, semi-metallic pads, uh, you're actually uh, uh, doing the, the, the break-in so those two surfaces, the, the, the metal on the brake pad and the metal on the rotor kind of mashes together and kind of matches. The break-in is very similar I assume, uh, about 20 stops from about 30-40 miles an hour, just don't let it overheat uh, right in the beginning. But with the ceramic brakes uh, you do a few stops and then over the next two days it's really you know bedding itself really in to get uh, to come to their full potential so don't go out racing doing a hundred miles an hour and you know on a racetrack and then come to full stop because they may not work until they're fully settled so give them about two days so let's get out on the road we'll do a couple of stops and that should be it for this video so let's get to it So as you start the car and you do the first few pumps, uh, it feels like there's nothing there. It goes to the ground. So give it about three, four, five pumps and fill the, until the brake pedal starts to feel normal. So let's put it in, draw, in reverse. Let's reverse it out slowly. And just making sure we have actually some braking power there and seems like it's doing all right. So you want to start with very low speed just to make sure everything was installed correctly. Enough brake fluid is in there, which there should be enough because you got new pads. And then progressively start increasing the speed and coming to a stop. Oh, nice and smooth. These are actually quieter than the old ones. And I'm gonna repeat that about 15, maybe 20 times drive very careful the next two days retorque the wheel bolts just to make sure and that's it all right that's it uh, you can go ahead and dispose of your old rotors either at the junkyard or your auto parts store if you bought it from there they'll gladly take it back um, don't just throw it in the garbage um, you really get them disposed love your environment they will love you back um and that's it i guess i'll see you around take care bye
You still here? No, go, go away. No, seriously, go watch Chris Fix or Mighty Carmos. They have better stuff on anyways. Go. No, seriously. Nothing's happening. It's not like a marble. No, seriously, that's it. I, I had enough.